Hello, and welcome to episode 13 of the Beginner Guide to One Piece, The History of Sanji. Sanji made his debut in One Piece chapter 43, corresponding with anime episode 20. It had been stated by Oda that if Sanji was a real-life person, his nationality would be French. It was stated by Oda that Sanji typically gets 5 hours of sleep. Now that we've gone over some fun facts about Sanji, let's get into the history of Sanji. Much is known about Sanji past before he was on the Baratie. Other than that he was born in the North Blue, and that he is the third son of the Vine Smoke family, a renowned family of killers, he moved to the East Blue where he was raised. Ten years before the attack on the Baratie, Sanji was a nine-year-old boy working as a ship's cook on the ship known as the Orbit in the East Blue. One day, the pirate Red Leg Zet and his crew attacked the ship. However, both ships were caught in a sudden storm and sank. That managed to save the young Sanji from drowning, losing part of his leg in the process and the two of them were rocked onto a rock, outcopping high above the sea. Before the storm tore apart the boat, Sandy cried out his dream to find all blue, and was then saved by that afterward. Despite their good fortune, there was little food for them. A few rations had, wa had washed onto the rock with them, but there was no vegetation, no animals, and no way to reach the water to sit. Splitting up what little rations remained, the death ordered Sandy to sit at the other end of, at the other end of the island and look for a ship. Death protest Sanji protested that Death was keeping a large snack for himself, but Death brushed him off saying that as an adult his stomach was bigger. Days passed, Sanji had no more food, but there was still no sign of a ship. Many weeks afterward, so that time differed between the anime and the manga, and emaciated Sanji decided to take a chance and kill the old man for his food. He did not kill Death. However, when he flashed Death opened the old man's snack in a thick sack in a fit of rain, he discovered there was no food inside, only treasure. To his horror, he realized that Death had sacrificed his own leg to save Sanji. Death confessed that he often lacked food on the high seas and planned on opening a restaurant on the sea. Sanji, guilty over plotting to kill Death, agreed. But Sanji, but Death remarked that he was too weak to help. Soon after, a ship appeared and they were spared from Death. Because of his ordeal, Sanji pledged to never refuse, refuse food to a starving individual, no matter how evil or poor they may, they may be. In the manga, Sanji began smoking shortly after starting to work at the Bratia in order to impress Death. Despite Death's warning that it would destroy his taste buds, only for Sanji to say, Now I am a man. Sanji would later go on to join the Straw Hat after Lucy arrived at the Bratia and convinced him to join on his journey to become the Pirate King. Now, this is pretty much it. As far as we are aware at the moment, which is Chapter 820, I believe, is, there isn't much known about Sonny's backstory. We know there's more to him due to the fact that he's a member of the Vine Smoke, and we know more is coming, but this is a weekly series, and I'm not gonna stop just because I'm missing information. I can always make another one of these with the full backstory later, but I really want to get to the end goal, which is the history of the Straw Hat, which is what I'm really excited to make. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, and remember to check out the Beginner Guide to One Piece every Friday. But next week, in the next episode, will be the history of Zoro.